Ave TV, I know you come all the way from Ireland, and um, right. at, for a period of that game in the second half, you must yeah. have been thinking I should have stayed at home. We should have, <laughs> we should have stayed at home in Dublin supporting Dundalk. They were in the Europa League a few years ago. Um, hmm. Look, we came back from 2 0 down, and um, we're back to 2 all. Dun um, Arsenal have frustrated a lot of people in the recent times. 64 days without a win. Mm. We finally come back and we're showing a little bit of fight. Yeah, we yeah. need all aspects of Arsenal fans to come back and support mm. this team. No matter if it's in the stands, if it's online, if it's in the stadium, if it's outside the stadium, if it's people who can't make it to games mm. in other countries. We need everybody to come behind this team because no matter what manager we get, if it's Freddie Lundberg, if it's Carlo Ancelotti, if it's Arteta. We need everybody to come behind this club to get back to where we were. Because at this moment in time, we're in limbo. Okay? We've come to Belgium. Okay, Liège, good club, we come back from 2-0. That's a League 2 club. Exactly, two exactly. Club. But we need to pull our sleeves up. The club need to do it. The top, from the top to the bottom need to do it. We're Arsenal. We're not Liège, we're not Bournemouth, we're not Palace. We need to come from the bottom to the top. This is Arsenal we're talking about. And no matter what man we get in, we need to come back, okay? And we've come from all areas of, the, of, of, of Europe today and probably further afield to come and support this club, Robbie. And what I'm seeing out there is it's probably not good enough. Okay, we came back and I'm happy with that. I'm ha like, we came back with a 2-0 down 2 all. But Arsenal FC should not be in the Europa League. They should be competing in the Champions League. They should, comp should be competing in the Premier League. I'm not saying we're going to win the Premier League overnight, but we should be competing in the top four. And, like, it just frustrates me to think that our fans are divided because I, I've seen things online and seen things posted up and painted places. I don't care about that. I want every single person behind this football club to come behind them and just support them because that's where I come from in Ireland. I support a club called Dundalk and we all become behind, we all come from behind this club and we support them once and for all. Okay, and it doesn't matter how many people support this club. It could be 10, it could be 10 million. We all need to get behind Arsenal Football Club and support them. Okay? Yes. Yes. And that's all I have to say. And I don't, I don't, I've taken three days off work to come here, right? I've taken three days off, I come with a friend, okay? We've come here because I love this club. And I've supported them from year dot. Myself and my family from Dundalk in Ireland. And people like Dee and everybody in there who I've found, have, have, who have supported this club from, from all countries. And we just got to get behind it. We got to get behind the manager. We got to get behind the club. No matter what team is out there, we got to get behind them. Okay, we might say that the managers, it's not the manager's fault. The, team, the, the, the club needs to step up. The players need to step up. I know Ozil needs to step up. For God's sake, we all know that. But we got to get behind them. All right, yeah. and that's all I have to say. And let's just get behind this club, a new manager, and get us back to where we bloody belong. Yes. <laughs>